Good morning friends I hope everyone is doing well I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding if you really like my teaching and my efforts please press the like button share the videos with your friends subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates in this video i want to discuss about http protocol which is a hypertext transfer protocol okay so it is a hypertext transfer protocol okay and one more thing is that it works in which layer it is an application layer protocol http is an application layer protocol now once it is an application layer protocol you will ask me few things sir what is the port number it uses what is the port number it uses it uses the port number 80 and next thing people will ask me whether it is a stateful protocol or stateless protocol it is a stateless protocol what is the meaning of stateless protocol if you know the answer please write it in the comment section so what is a stateless protocol is that the server does not store the information about the client what the client is doing what kind of data it has access what kind of web pages it has accessed all these things it does not store it in the server whereas in stateful protocol it stores the information in the server so what is the purpose of http protocol it is used to transfer the web pages it is used to transfer web pages between the client and the server so you have a client and you have a server now the client is asking some request so he will request something and the server will respond so client will request some information and server will responds with a web page suppose let's take that you are asking www.parnikatutorials.com you want to watch the home page of the parnikatutorials.com then you will ask this web server where the http means the parnika tutorials database is there am i right or wrong your web application will be stored in some server so your http client is requesting for that one and the server will respond accordingly so it is used to transfer the web pages now what kind of transport layer it uses it uses the tcp only okay it uses the tcp it works in which layer tcp tcp works at the transport layer and tcp is a reliable am i right or wrong tcp is a reliable and also connection oriented meaning is that first you have to establish the connection in tcp you will have the connection establishment phase then data transfer then connection termination will be there so http uses the tcp and http has two variations or the two versions are there http 1.0 and http 1.1 let me discuss about both of them http has two versions http 1.0 http 1.1 okay now http 1.0 uses the non persistent connections okay whereas 1.1 uses the persistent connections what is the meaning of non persistent connection what is the meaning of persistent connection we will discuss now as i said earlier if the communication want to happen between the client and server the connection should be established then client will request the messages and server will respond the web pages as a response okay is it clear so if it is a non persistent for each object or each web page you need to request a new connection are you able to understand if you want to access some web page for each object or for each file you need to have a separate connection suppose if you want to transfer two objects then you need to first create a connection then server will respond 
then the connection termination will happen then again a new connection has to happen then again the connection data will be transferred again connection will be terminated so for each object the connection will be established when it comes to the non persistent once the connection is established all the communication will happen okay then only the connection will be terminated which is better persistent is better because in non persistent for everything you need to create a new connection which is a time consuming task and also create a burden on the client and the server okay so i hope you have understood about the difference between non persistent and persistent connections now let me discuss about http what type of commands it uses it uses the command called head what is the purpose of head is that it provides the metadata about your web page okay what is the purpose of this map metadata we will discuss now now let's take that you are a client okay you are a client you are in some network for which the gateway is connected am i right or wrong you have a gateway now you are requesting for pernikatutorials.com let's take that in your university all the people are accessing pernikatutorials.com because everyone want to study the all the computer science core subjects so they are accessing the pernikatutorials.com now once everyone is accessing in your institute what it will do is that your gateway will have a http cache so once everyone is accessing what the http cache will do first time it will fetch from the server where the pernika tutorials are there first time it will fetch it and it will store okay and every time if someone is asking the client the gateway will respond from to the client so client is requesting for the pernika tutorials.com then gateway has the information it will respond it are you able to understand instead of going to the server now you can ask me sir something has been modified in the pernika tutorials.com then how the http cache will come to know because at the server it is modified it is the latest update information is there because in websites every sometime there will be an updation will happen if you are storing in the http cache there will be a, what you call time limit will be there after that it will be expired so that is the purpose of the metadata it will time whether it when it was lost modified how much time it can be kept in the http cache okay once it is expired then it will again fetch from the server so this entire information will be provided by the metadata so i hope you have understood about the http local cache okay is it clear so instead of every time fetching from the server you can fetch it once and you can access it is it clear now let me discuss about what is the get if you want to access some web page from the server then you will use the get command and what is the post command is that you will fill some application forms am i right you are filling a form what is your name what is your age which post you are applying some information you are entering for that one you will use the command called post and if you want to store some web pages on the server then you will use the put command and if you want to delete something you will use the delete command if you want to trace something meaning is that whether your response is coming from the local cache or it is coming from the server those information if you want to trace you can use the command called trace command so i hope you have understood about the http protocol and what are the commands it uses what protocol it is which layer it is using and what port number it is using whether it is stateful or stateless remember this a very important point it is a stateless protocol so many times in gate or interviews they will ask this point okay i hope you have understood this concept whatever i have discussed in this video if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you for watching my video have a nice day